26 January 2024 Morning Murphy Aum Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children you have now found the support to go to the land of peace and the land of happiness by continuing to remember the father you will become pure and karmatic and return to your land of peace question which children receive the father's love and affection how will you show means reveal the father answer the children who are faithful serviceable very sweet and never cause any sorrow for anyone content to receive the father's love and affection when your children have a lot of deep love for one another when you don't make any mistakes when you don't speak words that cause sorrow and when there is constantly brotherly spiritual love among you you will then be able to show the father song the heart says thanks to the one who has given its support aum shanti you children have heard that song many times you children understand how much you have wandered around in the coming and going according to the drama plan you have been shedding bodies and taking others in the land of happiness you automatically shed your body and take another in happiness the father is now explaining to you how to shed your body in happiness Your children understand that your souls have come from the land of peace. I the soul am playing a part here. First of all, there has to be faith in souls that each of us is an imperishable soul. It has been explained to you children that only the one father is the one who gives you support. There is a lot of happiness experienced by remembering the father. This matters have to be understood at first you all live in the land of peace and you then go to the land of happiness the father is giving you support children your land of peace and your land of happiness are almost here your souls have the faith that you shed your bodies and take others you receive imperishable parts beforehand you have to play your parts for 84 birds the father only speaks to your children because apart from your children no one else knows these things it is only at the most auspicious confluence age that the father shows you the path in order for you to become the most elevated human beings your soul should not have any fear we are claiming a very high status you now know about all your birds This is the final birth. Your souls understand that you have now found the support to go to the land of peace and the land of happiness. Therefore, you should go in happiness. However, you have received the knowledge that souls are now impure. The wings of souls are broken. Maya breaks your wings and you are therefore unable to return. You definitely have to become pure. you came down from there but you cannot return there now by yourselves everyone has to play his own part you should also understand that you belong to a very high clan we are now receiving our fortune of the kingdom of the highest dynasty so what will we do with those bodies you are going to receive new bodies there talk to yourselves and thus we The father has given you his own introduction and is also explained to you the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end of the creation from being sato pradhan the souls go through the stages of sato rajo and tamo you now have to become soul conscious once again it is souls that have to become pure the father had said simply remember me alone do not remember anyone else If your interests are pulled to wealth, property, children, etc., 
you won't be able to attain your karmatic stage. Your status will then be reduced and punishment will have to be experienced. We souls are now going to return home. We have to become pure and return home. The father has come to make us pure. So why would we not remember the father in happiness so that our sins are absolved? If you stay in remembrance yourselves, the arrow will strike the target when you tell this to others. This is called churning the ocean of knowledge. Good churning takes place in the morning because your intellects are then good and refreshed. Devotion is also performed at that time. There is the song, Remember Ram, early in the morning, O mind. You simply used to sing that on the path of devotion. Now the Father's directions are, Wake up early in the morning and remember me. In the golden age, they don't remember Ram. All of this drama is predestined. The Father comes and tells you the secrets of the knowledge and devotion. Previously, you didn't know them and this is why you are called those with stone intellects. You would not say this in the golden age. It is only at this time that you say, May God make you your intellect good. The memorial of here continues on the path of devotion. The Father explains to you, children, with a lot of love. Children, you have forgotten me, your unlimited Father. I give you the unlimited inheritance for half a cycle. I made you have unlimited renunciation. I have told you that the whole of this old world is going to turn into a graveyard. Why do you remember the world that is going to end? You call out to me, O oh, Baba, liberate us from the impure world and take us to the pure world. There are millions of people in the impure world. There are very few people in the pure world. So, people call out to the great death, the death of all deaths. Your devotees call God to come and give you the fruit of your devotion. You have stumbled a lot. You have had this habit instilled in you for half a cycle. Therefore, it takes time to be liberated from it. This is also fixed in the drama. Your children will attend your karmatic stage, number-wise, according to the efforts you make, as you did in the previous cycle. Then, this section will take place. Now there is no place to even live. There isn't enough grain, so what would they eat? In America, too, they say that millions of people will starve. There will be these natural calamities. Where would food come from if war starts? The war will be very fearsome. They will bring out all the materials they have prepared and natural calamities will also help. You have to attain your karmatic stage before then. You have to become beautiful from ugly. You have become ugly by sitting on the pyre of lust. The father is now making you beautiful. There is just one place for souls to live in. You come here from there and play your part. You cross the kingdom of Ram and the kingdom of Ravan. The father has told you that it is now the end of the old world. I come at the end when your children call me. The old world definitely has to be destroyed. It is remembered death to the prey and happens for the hunter. However, if you don't follow the father Srimad, there cannot be that happiness. Your children now understand that you have to shed your bodies and go to the land of immortality. Your name is the Shakti army, the Shiv Shaktis. Then you are also Prajapita, Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. You are the children of Shiv anyway and you then also became brothers and sisters. The creation is only created through Prajapita Brahma. Brahma is called the great great grandfather. So the father sits here and explains to your souls. It is souls that do everything through their bodies. It is a soul's body that they kill. The soul would say, 
with this body i kill that soul's body children write in their letters i the soul met this mystic through this body this requires effort you have to churn the ocean of knowledge it is very easy for males in bombay so many people go for a walk early in the morning you have to go and sit in solitude and churn the ocean of knowledge content of praise baba baba it is your wonder you don't sing praise of bodily beings the boundless one is god the highest on high he never takes a body of his own he himself has told you i incarnate in an ordinary body this one didn't know his own birth you didn't know about them either this one has now learned about them from me and so you also came to know about them there is also this practice you will receive a lot of happiness by remembering the father when you have the faith that you are a soul you will only see souls then no question of vice can arise the father says may you be bodiless so then why are there criminal thoughts you fall when you look at bodies it is souls that you have to look at i am a soul and i have played this part the father has now said may you be bodiless remember me and your sins will be cut away and you will accumulate an income by staying on the pilgrimage of remembrance the early morning time is very good don't even look at anyone except baba habifara lakshmi and narayan are your aim and objective man manabhav madhyaji bhav never knows the meaning of this you can explain that devotion is for those on the family path what devotion would those on the path of isolation perform in a forest at first even there were sat pradhan earlier everything would have been sent to them in the forest now that they have become tama pradhan those huts are empty because nothing reaches them devotees don't have that faith in them anymore this is why they have become engaged in doing business they are millionaires and billionaires all of this is now going to finish it isn't that buildings etc will be built with the scar everything there will be new greens will be new everything of the new world will be first class the land is now barren and so they don't even get enough green there all the land and all the oceans belongs to you there you eat such a pure food here they even cook meat such things do not exist there so your children should give a lot of thanks to baba you know the father and then you also tell others that the father said i enter an ordinary old body i entered him in his state of retirement you have to return home in the state of retirement that is the law the same system continues on the path of devotion too all of this matters have to be imbibed some note them down very well imbibe them and then relate them to others you enjoy listening to them a great deal because you have now found the support you know that each soul is sitting on the throne of the forehead it is said of the soul a wonderful star shines in the center of the forehead they do not say that the supreme father the supreme soul shift is shining have for it is the soul that shines souls are brothers and this is why they say that hindus pakistanis and buddhists are brothers but they don't understand the meaning of brothers you should have so much love among yourselves in the golden age even animals love one another you are brothers and so how much love you should have however because of being body conscious you become fed up with one another you then defam one another at this time your children have to live like milk and sugar 
you make this effort at this time and you then leave like milk and sugar for 21 births. If you use any wrong words, you should instantly say, I'm sorry, because we have Pavis orders to remain very sweet. Those who don't obey orders are said to be disobedient to God. You must never cause anyone sorrow. However, Bhavan knows that in the police service, they sometimes even have to beat someone to make him tell the truth. Those in the military also have to fight. Simply consider yourselves to be souls and constantly remember me alone and your boat will go across. Why should you look at this old world? We have to look at the new world. The new world is now being established with Srimad. There is no question of blessings here. A teacher never gives blessings. A teacher teaches you to the extent that someone studies and imbibes manners, so he receives a status accordingly. It is the same here. You have to look at your own register to see how you are moving along. Some move along very sweetly. They remain happy in every situation. Baba had said, hold a code among yourselves to check that you are not making mistakes. However, those who hold code should understand, I am a soul. I am asking my brother's soul whether he has made any mistakes through that body. You haven't caused anyone any sorrow, have you? The father never causes sorrow. The father makes you into the masters of the land of happiness. The father is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. So you have to give everyone happiness. You must never use wrong words. Never take the law into your own hands. Your duty is simply to report it. You have to become very sweet. The sweeter you become, the more you will show when Srivill the Father. Baba is the ocean of love. If you explain what love, you will become victorious. The Father says, My beloved children never cause anyone sorrow. There are many who make many types of mistakes. To criticize someone, to compete, and to be jealous are all sins. Baba says, Those who are good, faithful, and serviceable children will definitely be sweet. Baba also gives them love and affection. He would not give this to others. Some then say, Baba is favoring that one because he is an eminent person. They cause themselves a lot of loss in this way. They act wrongly and then blame others. Baba receives news that so and so hasn't stopped smoking. Baba says, explain to him by the power of yoga, you can purify the world. So, can you not stop smoking? Remember the father. Baba is the imperishable surgeon. He will give you such medicine that all your sorrow will be removed. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada, the spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children, the spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the Dharna First point, don't be body conscious and upset one another. Remain happy in every situation. Never criticize anyone or be jealous of or compete with anyone. You mustn't cause anyone sorrow. Become very sweet among yourselves. Leave like milk and sugar. Second point. Wake up early in the morning and remember the father with love. Talk to yourselves and give thanks to Baba while churning the ocean of knowledge. Blessing. May you be a number one server and serve with your mind while remaining stable in your powerful stage. Explanation If someone does not receive a chance to serve with words, he still has the chance to serve with his mind 
at every moment. The most powerful and greatest service of all is service with the mind. Doing service with words is easy, but in order to serve with your mind, you first have to make yourselves powerful. You can serve with words even if your state is fluctuating, but service with the mind cannot be done in that way. Those who serve with their elevated state are number one servers and they claim full marks. Slogan To experience spirituality while carrying out your logic task means mountain and walk is to center yourselves. Um, Shanti With obvious silence, experience the double light angelic stage. Now be double light. Be stable in the stage of an highest peak with the women of your divine intellect and spread the wave of cooperation of good wishes and pure feelings and light and mind over all the souls of the world. Let there be the refined, elevated directions of Babdada in that women. Let there not be the slightest rubbish of the dictates of your own mind or the dictates of others in that. Um. Shanti.